Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a brand new alpha survival game in Amalika that we've been looking at. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you go back and you check out my first video where I did an introduction to the game. Um, in my last video, I tamed this dog here that we found. We cared and tamed him. I got a workbench going on over there. There's my horse. So if you missed that, make sure you go back and watch that because we did a whole bunch of cool new stuff. Um, I've also taken the time out to remove the crates from here and I stacked them over here nice and neat as, as well as I could. As you can tell, some of them are flooding, so that's a glitch that they're going to have to work on. Um, but I've organized all of my stuff. Here I got food. And here I just got rare items and all the potions that we have so far. I got some extra tool sets, which we're going to actually have to go and search for some more tool sets so I can build the more advanced workstations. Um, I got I got a lot of tools here now that I've found. Um, they've added the hammer over in the lighthouse area, so if you're looking for that. Um, and I got this really neat crossbow. I got my plants. Which I've learned the plants are very important and pick those up. So that's how you make the potions. And there's so many different species that I really don't know what's what yet. Like what's used for what. So I'm just kind of picking up everything. And then here's some raw materials I got going on over here. Um, oh, one new thing that they've added is now when you kill one of these bad guys, you get a gorehound head. So I have one of these from killing the one that's outside the base. Um, but... Uh, I'm not really sure. It says valuable to merchants, but you can't sell to the merchants yet. We haven't seen a merchant yet. I haven't I haven't done all that without you guys. Don't worry. I will show you guys because I haven't seen one yet. But there are um, traders in the game. But check this out. Okay, now you haven't seen this yet. I got some furniture. This is some stuff that you can just pick up. You can't really use it yet. And it's just for decoration. But we've already searched the house that was over here. That one. Um, but I noticed in the update they added stuff like that, so I went back and I grabbed that stuff. There's some new items. We've got a nice little rocking chair. Did this grow here? That just grew there for some reason. And I built a campfire, which a nice little tip in the night when it gets dark. This campfire doesn't require wood to burn, at least not yet, so enjoy it while it lasts, you guys. Um, and, and it just is a constant light, so I think I'm actually going to build a bunch of those, so that way I can have some light around here. I think, is that the same species? Yes, it is. And I got some of this down here. Since there's no formal organization in this game, it's very important for me to stay organized. Uh, now I got a bunch of fried meat here, which is 40, so I, I've minimized my inventory as much as possible so we can go i'm all ready to go out and search for some more stuff which is really awesome i'm really excited we're gonna go to a new area today so i'm on my way over to the uh to the teleporting area and i've just noticed that to my left hand side there is now a stamina bar for the horse so we can no longer enjoy the unlimited stamina so that's unfortunate but that's what i mean they are changing and updating this game faster than I can put out these videos, which is crazy. Is there another bad guy? Oh yes, there is another bad guy over here, which I was hoping for because I want to collect more of those heads now. Before I was kind of honestly annoyed that this thing would respawn all the time. And it looks like they've changed how well it detects you. So that's a nice change. Oh god, I'm stuck. Gosh, my controls just winged out there for a second and I got stuck. I thought I was a goner. I play, I have to play in windowed mode, so sometimes my, I don't know, I don't know if this is like a, a, a setting thing, or if it's just my computer, uh, let me know if you know like a solution for this, but my, my mouse is like moving around in the background, and sometimes it clicks off of the game, and sometimes it clicks on other things, and like open software that's on my desktop that I don't want to open, so if anybody knows a workaround for that, or if, that's something that like the developers would have to fix let me know because i don't know much about that it doesn't happen with any of my other games i put in the windowed mode oh god you guys i came in here to see if stuff respawned oh my god it's edward scissorhands oh my god i'm so freaked out right now are you gonna attack me you're just kind of looming around, like, terrifyingly. There's a body here! 
And a pickaxe! Oh my god, this is what I mean. They are, they are updating this game faster than I can update you guys. And I know I... Oh my god, where'd he go? I know I already showed this area, but holy crap! Should I kill him? He's so scary! I think it's freaking me out more that he's not attacking me. Like, I wonder, does he have to... What is that? E to collect what? A tool set was hidden behind there, you guys. Um... Oh my god, this is so freaky. What are you doing with this body? Alright, I... I'm gonna... You guys are gonna want me to go for it anyway, so... Oh, crap. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! No! I need to stop getting stuck on things. Oh, did you see the way he died? Golden coins, nails... Ooh, a raider axe. Oh, that was an achievement! Oh no, my thing just got off. Hang on. Okay, we're back. Um, that's what I mean by my mouse is kind of active in the background now when I'm in window mode recording for you guys. I'm not really sure how to change that, but if you guys know, let me know. And one little tip now, see this restores 50 water, but the nice thing is, is when I eat something, it actually restores my health, so I don't have to, I don't have to carry like health packs or anything. I got this raider axe, uh, off of him. And I don't know if you guys could see because I don't know how my how my layout of my game changed. Sorry about that, but this was an achievement. I unlocked an achievement by getting this Raider Axe. And the damage is 11. And the damage for this is 25. This is 10. So now that I've had to re-log back in, I have to log out in order to, to, re to fix my screen there. Yeah, see, now that I've, now that I've logged back in, I, he's here again. He respawns that quickly. That's one thing that they need to change. Should I go for it again? How many arrows do I have? Should we be dumb and go for it again? Probably. I want another raider axe. But it will be here maybe all the time. Alright, I want to get stuck on the stairs again. Oh god, he's fast. Oh my god, he jumped. Okay, so that time, now you can see. You get 10 gold coin, 4 metal shards, 10 nails, steel ingot, harpoon. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He had a different weapon on him. Guys! Ooh. Ooh, this is pokey. <laughs> See now, I'm supposed to be showing you guys a new area, and I'm like still in the same area because this game has been a different adventure like every single time I log in. Oh man, I'm sorry about that, you guys. Let's get to a different area. Alright, so this is Kitsune's Den. I have not seen this area yet, so I figured it'd be cool to see something new. Um, let's see. Well, there's a nice little campfire over here. So that's a sign of some civilization. We'll we gotta make sure we don't get attacked by some crazy person. <laughs> what impresses me is that- oh, stuff! Um, is that there's actually, like, there's NPCs in the game as far as traders and stuff. But, uh, pretty much you can't interact with the guys that are just walking around yet. And I say yet, because I'm sure that's something they're probably going to add. Maybe they'll, like, have some voice actors, and you go up and they'll say something like a regular game would. Whoa, look it! What is up there? Oh, check this out. This is cool. And if you're wondering why I didn't bring my horse with me, you can't teleport with your horse. I don't know if that's something they're going to change in the future, but there is another horse. On each map, there's another horse to find on each map, so they're available to you. You just have to kind of discover them, which I think is cool. They don't just give it to you. I love this architecture! <laughs> oh my gosh, there's more buildings over there! This is cool! Okay. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting excited about new things I haven't seen yet. Apples, seeds, bread, milk. That's a new one cheese we have some of that tomatoes those are new Ooh, i can pick them all up at once is that like does they come in the bowl or did i just okay and more milk um let's see what else potatoes oh, i like this architecture this is cool more stuff to steal was that a health pack this is a nice find it's it's kind of strange how she has um, like, that's being finicky. Come on! Give me the nuts and bolts! 
Okay, got it. Um, it's kind of weird the way she kind of has this random interaction, like, speeches. And I think the only two she has, well, no, she's got, like, three. So she goes, this is terrible. And then she goes, this is a nice find. And then what's the other one? Oh, if you just stand there, she's like, you know, we can just stand here and, like, do nothing. That's fine. Like, I don't really know what she says exactly because I've only heard it, like, once or twice. But, yeah, that's my impression of her. And I feel like people are going to be really annoyed by that and they might want that to change. No offense to whatever voice actor actually did it. I think it's good that they actually made the effort to do that. But for a survival game where, like, the character is what you're embodying, like, the character is you, I think a lot of games, they have, like, the sound effects of jumping or being hurt or something, but they don't, they don't do the voice like that because it just kind of takes you out of that element. Like, if you're a guy playing the game, it, it might be strange. Exotic seeds. More milk, eggs, and more wild seeds. Alright, so this is a good place to get seeds and food, apparently. What else we got? Nails. Crafted leather. Ah, oh, there's an upstairs. What? Big first this aid nice kit. Find. That is a nice find. Restores a hundred health. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, we get attacked. We could be basically dead as long as we use that fast enough. I wonder if I could, like, hotkey that or something. Probably not yet, but that's something that should be added, FYI. So I jumped up on these rocks, and you can see that there's, like, more houses over there. There's one here. I think it looks like there's one that way. This is really cool. It's like a huge town here. <laughs> What's this? Asian craft this. books. That's for a workbench, <laughs> if you guys don't know. That's cool. That that means that we'll be able to craft this type of architecture once we get that workbench. Oh my gosh, more stuff. Apples. Look at all this food. We're gonna be able to, like, eat forever. Oh my gosh, water? This is a Another nice first find. aid kit? Do those stack? Uh, yes, they do. Whoa. Oh my gosh, there's, like, everything here. This is crazy. Can I collect these? I do need water. Bamboo! That's a new one. Get some bamboo. That's probably needed for the workshop, actually. So this is cool. Hopefully we get the stuff we need for the workshop. Some potatoes. Don't forget to check the porches, you guys. There is some stuff out here on some of these. Look at This tree is so pretty. I don't know if I really want to waste an inventory space, but I'm gonna put that tree in my back pocket and take it home as a decoration. Alright, so we did everything to the left, let's go do everything to the right. This is kind of my way of organizing so I don't miss things when I search. Leather. Is this the cauldron that I need for crafting? Oh, I hope not, because I can't pick it up. Wait, I just unlocked an achievement for having potatoes. I think it's supposed to be 200 potatoes, but I have more back. I didn't know if it was cumulative or not. Wait, I want this. I want this. Is this a cauldron I can take? I feel like, should I have taken my crowbar with me and crowbarred that to pick it up? I don't know. Oh man, I don't know. I'll have to come back and try that. It's so weird. There's a lot of stuff here, and there's no people, and I haven't run into enemies yet. Oh, this is a big place. So I'm not really sure what's up with this place. It's a lot of stuff to steal. There are no people. It's pretty nice. Ooh, pretty flowers. Can't pick them. Another, another Asian craft book. They stack? Oh, good, they stack. Not like I'm gonna need more than one Asian workshop, but that's cool, though. They offer that. <laughs> See, now I can't search these baskets. And that's to me, is strange, because I can search the other ones. Uh, I'm shocked my inventory isn't full yet. Ooh! Healing balm, turquoise, and jade. That would make sense I would find that here, but that's cool. I didn't even know that those were items in the game. 
this is just such a neat area. And it feels like it's never ending, my goodness. <laughs> See, I'm lucky a lot of this stuff stacks. So I can I can pick up a ton of it. But I'm eventually gonna run out of space. And I'm gonna have to leave before I even search this entire place. But I'm gonna, I will come back. So I use these rocks over here to get up here, and I want to see if there's any loot up here. I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here or not. Alright guys, so I'm not sure if this was the entire map or not, but by getting up on the on that walkway there, there was nothing hidden up there, so I don't think I'm, I should have gotten up there. But I was able to get up on these rocks, and if you look over here, there's nothing, it's just ocean. So that's the end of the map for this area. And I think that we've searched the entire thing. I'm not really, I'm not 100% sure. I'll keep looking. But our inventory is pretty full, so I'm going to take all this stuff back to our base. And, um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure you click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I'll be making more of these videos. And go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, especially if 7 Days to Die. That's my favorite game at the moment. I'll have more 7 Days to Die videos coming out soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe today. After all, it's free. And if you like funny gaming memes, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook because I post a new one every day. Thank you so much for watching.